My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire for the daily challenge for February the 22nd of 2020. The character is the Ironclad. The modifiers are Insanity, Horder, and Midas. Insanity start with a random deck of 50 cards. Horder, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. So... Why am I so excited to run this one, despite all of these being red modifiers, and I'm not usually super into the red modifiers? One of the reasons is because it's the Ironclad, and the Ironclad with 50 random cards means you get, oftentimes, a lot of things into your Perfected Strike build. Like, we have one Perfected Strike, a Wild Strike. Oh my god, we actually might not have that much here. We actually only have two Strike cards. That... That sucks, but we can fix it because of Horda. Whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And then the final one is Midas giving us 200% more gold. And that should give us the ability to do some pretty ridiculous things at Merchants. Basically, I'm hoping to get a deck that's yeah, 200 cards large, something like that. Hmm. 200% more gold means I could actually probably go to that first shop. I've got to remember that paths that have rests in them are actually useless for me because I can't smith. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Ah, uh, easy, easy, easy. Get the kill as well as the full defend. Sword Boomerang into Pummel. Heavy Blade. Pummel into Heavy Blade? Nope, none of these are actually really going to do it for us. We'll go for leaving the enemy one off of death. Thankfully, we do heal up six at the end of the fight, so it's not really that bad for us. Liquid Memories as well as Pummel Strike. Sounds like a really good pickup there. A uh, bunch of copies of strikes to our deck. Another thing that we're going to have to consider is we can get collector's bonuses really easily. If a card exists in our deck and we take another copy, because of Horda, we will get a collector's bonus. Um, here it really doesn't matter which I take. Not too much at least. I'm going to go for the one that provides draw. I was really hoping this was going to be a mind blast and we were just going to go off already. Okay, Clash. That could be a collector's bonus for us if we take it. We'll have so much money that we should really just spend money at every opportunity to do so. Yeah, Clash gets us a collector's bonus. I think True Grit does as well. Yeah, True Grit does as well. Does Havoc. Havoc, Havoc, Havoc. Yeah, it does. Cool. Uh, although I can't buy both of those. I'm gonna take Havoc. No particular reason behind it. Kind of just want to get more aggressive, and I think Havoc will have the possibility of doing that. Bloodletting into Clothesline, Clothesline, Anger. Beautiful. I'll still probably try and keep this as a pauper deck. Ooh, Pommel Strike. As soon as I start finding Perfected Strikes, this is going to go off. Transform a card. Cool. So... I want to transform a card that is in excess to a collector's bonus. I'm very likely to take another Shrugger off when it's offered. So if I transform that, I'm still getting the collector's bonus next time I take one, right? Because I'll end up with five. But I don't actually want to remove a shrug it off. How about something that's bad at the moment? Dark Embrace. Yeah, it's Dark Embrace. Transform card, Dark Embrace. Not rare, please. Battle Trance. Ooh, that's actually really good, having three additional copies of that. Um, shrug it off, shrug it off. Body Slam to me. Oh no, armaments on the body slam get a little bit of extra damage out there. If I could upgrade cards, the armaments would be kind of obvious pickups there. 
six. So little damage we actually get to do on that turn, unfortunately. But with a clash, we'll clean up. Hemokinesis, Intimidate, and Warcry. I know we have an Intimidate and a Warcry in the deck. Do we have a Hemokinesis? We do. Okay. So any of these is a collector's bonus. I still need more defense. Probably take the Intimidate here, I think. Plus, I should take one of the uncommons over the common there, definitely. Rage, armaments on cleave. Yeah, this is just a good turn. I could pop out the flex potion here. Uh, no, I should save that for killing the boss very quickly. It just probably means I'm not going to perfect this elite. Because we'd have to get real lucky this turn. Bloodletting actually makes the blood for blood playable there. Yeah, this isn't going to work out that well for us. Bloodletting is a clothesline. No real reason to do that. Fine. I'll take my lump. Ooh. Having shrugs it off. Perfect. These all become castable. And we finally get to see the power of one of our perfected strikes. Now we've got more. Okay. Life is suddenly starting to get good. Uh, definitely don't go to the rest there because I cannot upgrade cards. There's no real reason for me to. Uh, I'll trigger it first. Not really what I was hoping to get rid of there. Short on the defense, but if we take no more damage in this fight, and <laughs> that's not looking very likely. If we had have taken no more damage in the fight, the Burning Blood would have had the full heal here for us. Yeah. I'm not going to try and pop a Flex Potion and do way too much work for that kill there. Should still probably Armaments... No, not armaments. Uh... Actually, yes, armaments, because we want to play headbutt and cleave. So armaments may as well just upgrade the damage on one of them. Cleave goes to, I think, uh, 11. Headbutt to 12, so both of them increase by 3 damage. I just don't really know which card I want to put back atop my deck here. Guess I'll put the cleave back atop my deck. Hoping to get a perfected strike or something here. In fact, I'm just not going to drop the enemy if I don't get a perfected strike, so I may as well just fish for it. Fine, fish for it with that. Mm. Fine. You know what? I will use liquid memories to get the clothesline back and kill. The reason there is basically just that I'm really, really greedy for money in this run. Another Havoc. No, wait, it's True Grit now. Yeah. I'm going to be really greedy for money in this run because going to the shops and completing collector's bonuses there is going to be how we really make our money for the score. One damage short. Havoc. Oh, there we go. Actually starting to get the perfected strikes out. Uh, spot weakness would be a great addition to this deck. Body slam gets us the collector's bonus, but we can probably get a body slam later on. Whereas spot weakness is actually just a good card at the moment as well. Ornamental fan, whenever you play three attacks a single turn, gain four block. Let's... Flex. I'll armaments a pommel strike here. Okay. Might could be a lot worse. Oof. All right, Havoc, don't play Clash. Thank you. May as well just take one out. So for the boss fight, we do have the Ancient Potion plus Flex Potion, but the problem is we will need to kill the enemy in basically two turns before we'll start taking damage to their thorns, almost invariably. 
corruption would be excellent in a deck like this, but uh, do I still go for Pauper's bonus? This is only, this is like the first sacrifice I would actually have to make for it. So I'm not committed yet. Three copies of it is not good, but it does make it more likely I'll get a copy early. It's such an increase in the power that I think it's probably worth the 50 score that we're going up in order to get it. Okay. Flame Barrier is great now. It was always great, but it's especially great right now. Dropkick, Rampage. Definitely not Rampage. Dropkick's interesting, but I probably don't want it. Secret Weapon is actually really appealing. Get three copies of that. I have the ability to pull into my hand the Perfected Strikes at the right time. I might also go for a, a 5 max HP here. For the possibility of ending up with a score bonus off of the back of that. Don't need to drink it yet, though. Uh, I could Thunderclap Perfected Strike to open this fight. Sure. Not like our turns are getting any better after that. Necessarily, at least. Ooh. Oh my god! We're actually gonna get him! Damn! Regal Pillow, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP, as well as Rage, Intimidate, and Heavy Blade. This one's probably Rage. We have a lot of attacks in the deck. Nothing I can do here, unfortunately. But I did want to go for an extra Elite, because that was a huge amount of uh, points that we would have picked up there. Havoc first. Neat. Uh, final secret weapon out a perfected strike. Go for the obvious kill. Full defend. Beautiful. Getting the corruption out is just damn beautiful in this deck, especially with all of the flame barriers we just added in. Another energy potion, armaments, clothesline, pommel strike. I really think we need to continue taking strikes right now. We need the perfected strikes to actually be incredible. Ooh, good god. Uh, yeah, I have to. We have to start the fight now. You know what? I don't even need to throw out the other pommel. Yeah, because I want this extra turn to put the enemy on the ground. Oh, yikes. What a garbage hand. Uh, take a heavy blade out of the deck. Should I rupture? I don't really see a reason not to. Yikes. Uh, definitely need more defense this turn. It has to be like setting all pommel strike into another defense. Yep. All right, we're no longer perfecting. Uh, it's really frustrating, but damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But as soon as we didn't get an early corruption, that was basically just what was going to happen, I think. Attack, that's my hand, sure. And then get another clash out of there. If only it was already this turn. Actually, you know what? We're not even going to be able to defend on this turn. I could have pulled a uh, Iron Wave out of the deck, but I wouldn't have had the ability to cast it. Ouch. Uh, we basically have Unceasing Top, what with all of the cards we're exhausting here. Just trying to figure out whether I needed to specifically upgrade the body slam. Beautiful. 
Demon Foam, Berserk, and Reaper. Hmm. I actually kind of want Berserk. We're gonna need energy. And if I'm not going for perfects, Berserk is a little bit more appealing. Reaper is going to be really hard for us to cast for any significant amount of value. Uh, we do have three spot weaknesses in the deck, I guess. Demon form is almost impossible to play. Especially three of them. But it would be hugely beneficial. I mean, I could go any way here. I'm going to take the demon form. Elites drop an additional relic when defeated, or... It has to be Sozu. If I got more relics there on the first floor, I might have considered the Black Star for the possibility of getting the uh, 25 relic bonus. I like shiny. Looks like maximum is a two elite path, but there are a lot of question marks along the way. Hopefully we get a Necronomicon for doubling our perfected strikes. strike thank you I should also probably focus a lot on this floor on just getting my strikes rather than all the collectors bonuses prioritize the strikes first so we can at least beat the boss fights effectively and convincingly sword boomerang is a collector's bonus for us shockwave is nice shockwave's real nice Three ritual daggers? It's going to be almost impossible to actually level them up. I'm taking the goals. And also, obviously, I can't get a collector's bonus with that. Uh, obtain a special relic and get three curses of pain. Yes. Because that's almost a uh, curses bonus just off the back of that. Secret Weapon got upgraded and reduced its cost. Thank you, Secret Weapon. Um, hmm. But what can I actually do this turn? Enemy's only doing 11 damage. Hmm. Fine. I will take a Perfected Strike out. And I was kind of fine to just eat a hit there, but if I don't have to, I won't. Beautiful. So, boomerang, pommel strike, though. Yeah, really not liking how many rests I've got on the path. In fact, I can actually avoid another one ducking out to the left earlier, get another question mark. Happy to have that. One of 20 cards to add to the deck. I'm just looking for, yeah, perfected strike. Embrace Havoc. Uh, yikes. I was really hoping I would actually be able to get some defense on that turn. Could have sworn I'd put some in the deck. Secret weapon out a perfected strike. They're doing real well at the moment. No, I'm not going to throw out the energy potion, especially because I have Sozu, so the potion being kept is very appealing to me. Shrug it off, 11 block, draw one card. It's also a skill, so when it exhausts with corruption and dark embrace out, it's another draw. It's just oh, it's really appealing here. Too appealing. I have to take it. The prayer wheel, normal enemies dropping additional card reward is going to be incredible for us. Gives us twice as many cards to choose from. Vajra, start each combat with one strength. Okay. Rage, rage. Let's Havoc first, see what we get. Oh, it's another secret weapon being played. Interesting. Hmm. 
I kind of want to get like two AoEs. But we only have Thunderclap and Cleave, I think. It's got to be those then. Thunderclap. You'll take Cleave. And we'll also be able to cast three this turn. There we go. That is to say, uh, cast three attacks, which is going to give us the ornamental fan trigger. Woohoohoo! Got a demon form out there with the havoc. That. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> We've done that in the other order. That was one of the reasons that I was final with the demon form, because I do have a fair few havocs in the deck, and we do prioritize playing them often. Armaments on Warcry, so I can actually find something useful here. Single Perfected Strike gets the kill next turn. Which is why the game is so eager to avoid giving it to me. That's just a rude video game. Guess the pummel will have to do. Dark Embrace. That is the collector's bonus and they are pre-upgraded. Gotta say, it's pretty much everything I would have wanted. Okay, offer a card here. Uh, I can get plus 10 max HP. If I offer a rare. And any of the rares that I have at the moment, I have three copies of. So if I'm going to get a collector's bonus, it would be the next time I get a card anyway. Mentioned this before with a different one. Uh, it should probably be a demon form. I could also get rid of a curse here. No, I want the 10 max HP. Could translate into a score bonus. Yeah, Shockwave's not that great. It does affect the sentry at least though. Fine, I'll just throw Shockwave out there. At least it makes the next one very good against the orb in the back line. Oh, damn. That's actually relevant. So even after Rage, I could only cast two attacks. Fine, I guess. Secret weapon for a perfected strike. Kill. Beautiful. Twin strike. Starts setting us up more. Clash. I already have that. I already have rage as well. I just don't have uh, thunderclap collectors. Don't really want to be removing cards from my deck, but... It's so cheap to do so, and I still do need another curse before I get the curses bonus, so I may as well remove one pain here. Plus, removing a dead draw is going to make my average hands a lot better. Pommel or twin. Twin is the collector's, so we'll take twin. Cleave. Sentinel. Feel no pain isn't already in the deck, so it's just Sentinel and Cleave that give us collectors. Take cleave. Oh, if only we had a dream catcher. It's one of the only times I would say it, but it would actually be extremely effective here for us. Oh, okay. Thank you for the opportunity to play a demon form. that and then headbutt the flame barrier back to the top of the deck not gonna perfect this fight either <laughs> I am okay with that I have come to terms with it uh... I 
I guess I'm just gonna have to get my entire score from collector's bonuses. I love the whole chain of uh, pickups that just happened there for the favors. Favors, sorry, Havoc. I do not have this kill yet. It's fine. I don't actually need it. I don't really have anything to benefit from having in my deck here. Like, no feed, no hand of greed or anything similar. Limit break. Against Offering, though. Offering would be incredibly powerful for us. Help us play some of the most expensive cards in the deck. Sure, we'll take it. Definitely can't take the Busted Crown. I already can't Smith at Rest Sites, so I'm happy to take the Fusion Hammer here. I'm now very, very, very happy that I... Oh, early shot. Love it. I'm now very happy that I took so many uh, Pommel Strikes earlier on. Since I have so much energy, having something that just cycles and draws in the deck, super useful. Just dunk that one. Battle trots? Sure. That could have been worse. You know, I actually really think that the... I really think that the uh, d d orange pellets would have been incredibly good for this run. Specifically with the flexes. And also it would actually dispel the, di uh, the debuff applied by using Battle Trance for draw. So I would be able to draw after playing Battle Trance, which actually could end up being pretty important, especially if I get a corruption. More twin strike. Shockwave is a collector's bonus for us now. So is anger though. And shockwave is rarer. Oh hell yes! Membership card, 50% discount on all products. There's also a bottle tornado to put a corruption in my opening hand. I'll take a happy flower as well. Well. That went well. Pommel Strike Sword Boomerang. Shrug it off, go see I'll just be taking all of those. Thank you very much. Upgrade a card. Let's upgrade the corruption that goes to our opening hand. Here we are. Now all I need, and I know I'm asking for a hell of a lot, but if I could just get this as well, it'd be absolutely grand. All I need is a dead branch, of course. Yeah, let's continue with the offering. Hopefully we get another AoE here. Although by the looks of it, maybe not. I don't actually have that much AoE in the deck, so it's fair if I don't. Alright. I need to start worrying about the actual amount of damage that I'm taking in each of these fights. Specifically with the... Ooh, right. Cool. Pommel is another collector's bonus for us, I think. Especially with the fact that I have all of these offerings in here now. I'm gonna have to start considering that quite heavily. Uh, so this way actually gets us no rests. It gets us fewer question marks, so I have less of a chance at a curse. But three normal fights is six cards that I get to pick up. And still we were short on that turn. Oh, unceasing top would actually be incredibly good for us. Well, it would right up until the next time I get to pick up some more curses. Uh, heavy Blade, Collector's Bonus for us. Sure. Definitely don't go to the rest. It's just muscle memory trying to get me to go there. No 
not going to be able to play all of these, but... Oh, the damage isn't even that different. Fine. It would actually be really nice to have the Centennial Puzzle to help with some of our draw problems. Thank you, Sentinel. Sentinel is actually now one of the best cards in the deck. Just extra energy on draw. And most turns I shouldn't have that much in the way of draw problems. Cool. Return as well as Intimidate. Is that a collector's bonus on the Intimidate now? No, we already have that. Searing Blow, Rampage. Eey, yikes. I could end up getting a collecting bonus on any of those. Body Slam, pre-upgraded armaments though. Yeah, that's a collector's bonus for us. Fine, I'll take Rampage just because I might find more Rampages later. Way too much to pay for that relic. Sorry, friends. I'll split the damage out a little. Just in case I get one of the cleaves. Weakness Shrug. Shock Double Metallicize. And... Eh, fine. I'll actually hit that target. I can't keep relying on Burning Blood when I haven't got full HP. And Secret Weapon out. The obvious one. Good. Dark Embrace. Blood for Blood Impervious. Blood for Blood is a collector's bonus for us. Burning Pact, Flex. Flex is another collector's bonus for us, as much as I want the Burning Pact. No, Wild Strike is a collector's bonus for us too. Toy Ornithopter, whenever you use a Potion Heal for 5 HP. And yeah, if I take no more question marks near the end, I'm not only avoiding the possibility of getting a shot, but also the, uh, avoiding the possibility of getting a final curse. So I'm kinda gonna have to go there. Thank you for spending that whole turn doing absolutely nothing to me, friend. Much appreciated. We already got our overkill quite a while ago, so I don't really have to sit in this fight and farm anything, thankfully. Secret weapon. That's... Nunchku, as well as Sword Boomerang Dropkick. I think Sword Boomerang is collector's bonus for us still. Sword. Sword, 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 sword. No, I already have that. So, Anger is definitely a collector's bonus for us. Uh, sweet. We're just going to get the... The Parasite out of this fight. That'll get us a Curse's bonus. Beautiful. I'm trying to make up for all of the perfects that we've missed. Rage. I don't... I think I have enough rage and I definitely have enough armaments. Unless I chose something over the rage before. No, I have enough rage. I'll take Whirlwind for the possibility. Warcry? I think I did pick something over Warcry last time. Yeah, we don't have enough Warcrys. Beautiful. I don't need to go to these anymore. Uh, but it is possible one of them is a shot. Remove a Khan from the deck. Sure, I'll just get an anger out of here, I think. Because I have more than I need. Ugh, yikes. That's really unfortunate. We basically just gave up two cards there. Wrong time for you, Perfected Strike. Supremely unfortunate. We'll cry just to see if we get. That was going to be to see if we get Dark Embrace or something like that. If I'd only known how useful Dark Embrace would have actually been in this run, 
Maybe I wouldn't have transformed the first one. I love that the clashes are almost permanently castable just because all of the... All of the status statuses, sorry, the skill cards that end up in our hand just get, in, in, get instantly cast, rather, because of the corruption. Uh, I'm just going to upgrade both of those, I guess. Barely enough. But we got through and we heal up. Okay. Flame Barrier, Armaments Reaper, and Twin Strike. Fine. Take another Flame Barrier, I guess. All right, elite fight. Wait a second. <laughs> it's been way too long now trying to decide the correct way to play that hand. Flex, I think. No, we didn't take the collectors for yet. So we'll take that. All right. Let's see if we manage to get all of the perfected strikes early that we need. I mean, I could play out all of these, but they're not really going to help me. I basically only need perfected strikes and defense. So I don't want to leave myself high and dry in terms of defense on this turn. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really been adding that many defensive cards to the deck. Obviously, I've been flooding it with strikes. All right. Just one more perfected strike. Dang it. All I needed was something that would have drawn the perfected strike. Because I still had 10, so I still had the ability to cast two more. Still cannot get it. Oh, well, at least I was this far away from the perfect. Feeling a lot better with that. By Time Eater? So off the back of our collector's bonuses, how well have we done? 17, 13. We did get curses. We got champion. We got overkill. We got well-fed. Encyclopedian, of course. Raining money as well. Neat. 24 collector's bonuses. I think I ended up passing up one or two in favor of strikes. Yeah. Ninth on the leaderboard. Could have been better, could have been worse. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.